Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? It's your boy E, and I'm back. Another episode of the Man Cave Show. On this uh, episode, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. I'm headed to the airport, actually, to uh, drop this beautiful female off of K3 and Nanu off uh, to their her new owner, uh, German Beltron. Uh, this is a very special uh, pup to me uh, because of the situations that uh, led up to, you know, her... Uh, going to German. Uh, I have major respect for German because he understands as a breeder, I'm a breeder, I'm not God. So uh, it was some circumstances that were beyond my control, but it's always good to do good business. You know, so uh, this episode is about good business. I'm gonna tell you guys about uh, the backstory to this pup and just coming full circle and now you know, able to uh, give German uh, a great product for his money. And uh, he's satisfied uh, and I'm happy to uh, be dropping her off. So let me let you guys check her out a little bit. Hey, pretty girl. I don't know what he's gonna name her yet, but he better have a bad name for her. This girl is amazing. You guys see her? Full I like try girl. Excellent movement and structure. Yeah. So, as I said, she's going to German. And uh, once I have a chance, I'm going to sit down and do the rest of this video and explain to you guys the circumstances of this and just showing, man, it's always right to do good business. This is what I'm going to call this episode. It's about doing good business. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'm going to uh, take you guys for the handoff and uh, then I'm going to tell the story of the pup. All right. Grab me a little something to eat from McDonald's on the way here. Look at her. She don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But got to do the right thing. You know, never hurts to do the right thing. She going to an excellent home, a great breeding program. And I'm just glad that you know he getting a return on his investment with Fat Lion believing in the program. And this little girl here, oh yeah, she gonna do the trick. You even got a clean little bite. Pretty mama, pretty mama. What's going on YouTube? Yeah, we made it, we here at the airport, we waiting on the uh, shipper to uh, come grab the pup uh, and put it in a pet carrier and they gonna uh, turn, do a turnaround flight and go right back to uh, Georgia so he can get his pup today. So uh, take a look around. We're up here at Indianapolis International Airport. So yeah, I'm waiting on him. The flight just landed. So I'm waiting on him to uh, come and then he'll be able to grab this beautiful pup and the deal will be completed. Oh yeah. Yeah, back YouTube. Now we finna do the handoff. This is this beautiful girl right here. Going to Golden City Bullies, German Beltron. Uh, I'm not German. No, I know you're not German, yeah. this, uh, but it's going to German, yeah. yeah. Beautiful K3 and nine new daughter. She Looking did. good, healthy. So, yeah, good business, bro. Oh, it's not. Yes, sir. Can you do me a favor? Though? Yeah. You mind holding it for a second so I can put her in the bag? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. One more hold, pretty mama. It's chilly out here. It's warm in Atlanta. Oh yeah, 
you in the Midwest now. <laughs> Think she gonna like the weather there better. <laughs> giving her any food or anything? No, I, I yeah, I tried to let her use the bathroom and uh, you know washed up good, made sure she all good. Yeah, I'm just gonna set this up while you're here so I okay. can uh, walk her right quick and okay. Get her right before I go in there. Flight's at noon, so oh, okay, cool. Give me some more time. There you Appreciate go. It. Oh yeah. Alrighty. And that's a wrap. I'll tell y'all the story of this girl later. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy E. I'm back. I'm just concluding this uh video. I just wanted to talk about uh the journey of this uh pup that I just uh handed off so it could get to German Beltron. Uh just to show you how uh the business of these dogs go and just to reflect on uh nothing is for sure nothing is guaranteed when it comes to these dogs but as a breeder and as a person with morals and uh humanity you know you should always try to do the best uh thing so your uh clients will get uh a good product for their money so with that being said uh the story about this pup started uh about I want to say two years ago almost, uh, German locked in and uh, second pick female off of uh, off of my girl uh, Doomy. She was supposed to be bred. I mean, she was bred to Nemesis, but uh, unfortunately, uh, two weeks before she dropped her litter, uh, she unfortunately passed away uh, due to a, a freak incident. Uh, so that was a bad thing uh but german still stuck with my program uh he you know as i say uh i don't offer refund as one of my uh policies but in a situation like that in all actuality he was uh, do a refund if he wanted but I had another breeding that he uh, was interested in and he wanted a pup off of. And I told him that I would just transfer the money over to that uh, breeding and he could get a uh, second pick female off of that breeding. That breeding being my golden child uh, times nine new breeding. So uh, I do that breeding. Uh, I had a couple of issues with that breeding. I mean. As a breeder, you gotta have thick skin, you know, uh, to be honest with you guys, these dogs are is a concept breed. This breed is not established. It's not uh, fully uh, healthy. I mean, things pop up. I mean, it, it is what it is, uh, and I'm not God. So uh, with that being said, the uh, pup that uh, he got, the female that he got off of that, uh, it was kind of it was on me at the end of the day because I'm the breeder, but I scheduled uh, the ear cropping and the uh, health check on the same day, uh, a mistake of my own doing. And so he really wanted the ears done, so I chose to get her ears done, and uh, I didn't get her health checked. Uh, he came like the next day and uh, got her, so. Uh, he when he got her he took her to his vet and it turned out that she had a heart murmur and uh it was to the it was bad enough where i was like uh okay i'll give you a replacement dog uh and i'll you know i'm gonna make sure that this situation gets right and <clears throat> i respect german because you know he could have made a big fuss out of it or uh you know like most of these uh younger dudes that get into the game uh, or don't know the business of the game, they make a fuss about uh, something that's beyond the breeder's control, like somebody trying to give you an unhealthy dog or a sick dog or not trying to replace it or just taking your money, which was clearly not the situation, never the situation with me. So uh, I told Jeremy again, we'd do this again and I'd give him a uh, you know, second pick female off of uh, Nanu uh, bred to K3. Now, uh, I did the breeding with Nanu and uh, K3. I ended up, 
you know, with two females. And without any questions asked, the other female goes to German. That's his dog. Uh, we got a health check. She checked totally out. She's healthy. She's happy. Uh, she's down there with him now as I'm shooting this video. And uh, he loves her. Uh, so the business is good. You know, uh, I had my name scandalized by a guy that I sold King Midas to, which was a male off of the Nanu and Golden Child breeding. And uh, people, my haters, uh, when the guy came out and basically uh, called me a scammer or like I played him or something like that uh, for no reason, uh, you know, people jumped on the bandwagon and was trying to say, like, I'm bad business or whatever. But I just wanted to give y'all uh, the actual tale of how uh, that transaction transpired. Uh, the guy contacted me. He wanted second pick mail off of Nanu Bread the Golden Child. I told him the price for that puppy is $20,000. So... Uh, no issues. He paid his uh, lot, uh, deposit uh, for the pup. So uh, when the pups were born, uh, I sent them. I, I myself jumped the gun. I sent the pup with the biggest head and, and bone. And so I sent them pictures of the other puppy. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be the puppy that you're going to be getting. And so he's like, okay, I thought we were going to wait until they're about six or eight weeks to make our choices. I'm like, well, it's only two males, and I know which male I'm going to pick, so that only going to leave you with the other male. So, uh, you know, I sent them pictures of the puppy. And of the, uh, puppy, the puppy that I told him that he would be getting, which turned out to be King Midas. And so I sent them pictures like a one-day, two-day-old pup. And so he uh, messages me back and says, uh, well, that pup doesn't look like he's gonna be, uh, turn out to be what I want. Uh, but I'm willing to wait until they are six weeks old to make a final decision. So basically he was telling me that he was gonna walk away from his deposit and wasn't gonna pay the balance of the $20,000 because he didn't like how the pup looked at birth, basically. But he comes right back and says in his next message, uh, probably five minutes later, says, uh, well, I'd be willing to give you $40,000 for the mail that you're going to keep uh, for your pick. And so, you know, I said no at first. I told him $50,000. Uh, and I thought about it over a couple of days. And uh, so I told him we can do $40,000 and 20 stud credits to the dog and that would be the price for him and so he agreed he paid the money uh after he paid the money the puppy uh the puppy had an issue the puppy the puppy turned out to be a hydro pup so now there's not uh there's not two pups there's only one pup uh and he wanted my pick, so by only being one pup, he ended up getting my pick, which turned out to be King Midas. But he was upset because he felt as though he could have had that same puppy for $20,000 if he would have just waited, which technically he could, he it, it wouldn't have went that way, what I'm trying to tell him, because the other puppy would have got sick anyway, and when that puppy got sick, it was gonna take, it was gonna take, uh, the other puppy was gonna become my pick. So you buying my pick for $40,000. So when the other puppy uh, had to be put down, I let him know exactly what was going on with the situation and that he would be getting uh, the pup now known as King Midas. Uh, because the other pup had to be uh, put down. So he had an attitude because he felt like he could have got that pup for 20000 instead of 40000 And as I told him, I'm like, no, this pup is actually more valuable now because 
he's uh, a one of one. He's the only male out of this breeding, and he's not staying in camp, and I usually don't sell my picks, as everybody knows, unless it's for a crazy number. So uh, just to keep good relations with him, you know, uh, we talked about it or whatever, and uh, I told him, hey, I'll even send you a female off of K3 and Nanu when I do the breeding uh, just to make, <clears throat> to keep good relations. You know, I mean, I'm still breeding dogs and uh, I'm still breeding dogs. I'm not going to stop breeding dogs uh, anytime soon. So I was like, hey, you know, uh, two pups for 40 grand and plus I got 20 credits to King Midas. Uh, no issue. I'll send you uh, a female off of a K3 and Nano. So that's what he said he wanted. That's what we agreed to. So fast forward a little bit about a week, about two weeks after we made the agreement, the shipper came and picked up uh, King Midas and uh, took him to the UK. He gets to the UK. The guy loves him. The guy, the guy uh, uh, loves him. And so he makes a Facebook post and uh, people are get to hitting me up and he's like, I didn't really read the post, but I shared it. And he's like, man, what is he talking about? He's talking crap about you on the post. And I'm like, what you talking about? So when I finally read it, you know, he said that he loved the pup and, you know, the temperament and how the pup looks. And but he wouldn't recommend that no one do business with me because I'm a snake. And I was like, wow. So, you know, when I. uh you know, message him about it. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Uh, we had an agreement. I sent you a good, healthy dog, the only male out of the breeding. And I was going to give you a female. And you go to Facebook and try to slander my name for no reason. The not new having, I mean, we just made the agreement. It was no way that I could just come up with a puppy out of the air. Uh, he knew that he had to wait on the breeding to get said pup, but I don't know what it was in him that made him feel like he wanted to just uh, trash my name for no reason. So, uh, therefore, so therefore, when he uh, trashed my name, uh, he, he trashed that part of the deal. I'm not going to give you another dog and uh, you just ran my name through the ring. And not only that, you posted all of my banking information all over Facebook. So uh, that's how that situation went down. It was, uh, no, I didn't scam him out of anything. I told him the price for second pick mail. He offered me 40000 for first pick mail. He got first pick mail. He still owes me 20 credits to that dog. And now uh, the dog is getting older, and he said that, oh, he wouldn't turn out how he uh, – he didn't think that Midas would turn out like how he uh, wanted. But uh, I'm going to be posting pictures. You'll be seeing – I'm going to have him take the screen over now. And you can see the dog and see how he actually looks and how he's turning out. He's only uh, coming up on 10 months old, one of the top uh, up-and-coming studs. Uh, I didn't do good, uh, uh, any bad business with him. He got what he paid for. The first pick male, the only male off of that breeding, a one on one. So uh, what he did was disrespectful, was wrong. Uh, I didn't do anything wrong to him. I sent him a righteous product. I couldn't send him a product that was faulty. I'm not going to send nobody uh, a, a sick or unhealthy dog or a, a, a genetically messed up dog on purpose. And if you do get a dog like that for me, believe me, I'm going to replace it immediately because that's just me. And if people spend their hard earned money investing in my program, I want them to leave with something that they can really be proud of for the money that they spent. So, uh, I just wanted to, you know, make that clear and uh, because I haven't really spoken publicly on that situation too much, but uh, I didn't do anything wrong at all. Uh, and now he's seeing that he got an excellent dog. Yeah, he paid a pretty penny for it, uh, 
but that's what it is. That was uh, the price that he offered, and he was uh, comfortable with paying. And uh, like I said, I'm just glad that he got a, a, a good looking dog, but I still do want my 20 stud credits, and you know who you are. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'm gonna wrap this show up. If you like this content, you like, uh, you know, getting these tips and uh, tricks about breeding and want to come kick it with me at the shop, you know, uh, man, just like and subscribe, man. That's going to help my algorithm. That's going to help get the channel uh, boosted up, man. Share it if you can. Uh, man, we're trying to get things going. Uh, I'm going to drop this video. Uh, next video is going to be uh, the March Madness show. Uh, so I ain't gonna tell y'all what happened there. It already happened, but I got the video. I got to get to uh, editing uh, that too. So uh, yeah, like I said, like and subscribe. Uh, in this game, if you are a, a buyer or if you are uh, the breeder, the seller, man, it's always good, great to do good business. And when you're doing business with people, be professional. Don't. Uh, there's no uh, room for disrespect and calling people out their names, going uh, to Facebook and social media to try to uh, settle a dispute between two people when we can just talk it out and come to uh, an agreement that uh, is good for both of us. Uh, so that's what I wanted to take this episode to, you know, just touch on. You know, like I say, whether you bought a pup or you are a breeder, man, it's always good to do good. You know, if the pup, if something's wrong with the pup, uh, that's from you and uh, it's an issue, man, replace the pup. Uh, if you can't replace the pup within my, my contract, say I have up to one year to replace the puppy. That's why I always get right on top of it. I'm not going to have a person sitting around three and four years waiting on a replacement puppy. That's not how I roll. I don't offer refunds because uh, the dogs in this game, like it's, uh, it's a very competitive game. If someone uh, locks in, make sure that you know what you're doing. This is serious money that uh, these dogs sell for and that my dogs go for. So. Uh, know exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it and be decisive you know with the money that you uh, are able and capable of spending because it doesn't make sense to uh, give a deposit on a dog that you know that you really can't afford and then now you're coming back to the breeder and asking this breeder back for a deposit and they have to resell the dog and give you your money back. That's that's not how things go. If uh, you put a deposit on a dog or a stud credit, puppy or a stud credit, that is not refundable, people. If you don't know uh, the business of dogs, uh, I'm here to tell you. Uh, deposits are non-refundable. Most of the time, uh, a paid for a puppy is non-refundable. If I s sell you a good, healthy puppy, and uh, we and you pay me my price. Like you can't come to me a week later and say, "Hey, I bit off more than I can chew, and uh, I want to get his puppy back, and I just want my money back." That's not how things go. Uh, so therefore, as a breeder, I don't see people. They do it. They uh, make a splurge income tax uh, buy and, and had a pup a week or two, and they want they done went broke. Now they need their money back, and that's just not how. Uh, business goes you know these are dogs these are uh, they have souls uh, so make sure that you know what you're doing when you uh, put your money out there because as a breeder you know I I give it all for my dogs I you know I call myself I'm just the the uh, caretaker of their estate so the money that comes in goes to them to get uh, what they need and to keep uh, my yard going and uh, for future breedings uh, and things of that nature, uh, vet bills. So uh, that's why I don't offer refunds. But I will give you another dog, a good dog, a dog of equal or greater quality, uh, equal or greater quality. That's what my contract states. So. With that being said, like I said, guys, I just wanted to uh, take y'all and let y'all know and understand 
how uh, that part of the game goes. And uh, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget the next video. It's going to be dropping in a day or two, and it's uh, March Madness. Uh, got some surprises, man. Hey, put a smile on my face. I hope it put a smile on you guys' face, too. So if you're rocking with Fat Line, like I say, man, give me that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up, and make sure you share and subscribe. Let's go.